All right. Uh, so in this question, they said you have six objects and you have to choose. They want to know how many different ways can you choose two of them? Okay. Uh, let me think here. Uh, I wonder if you can use a multiplication. No, I don't think you can use the multiplication rule here. All right, so I'm just going to list them out here. All right, so you could do A and B. That's one combination. And you could do A and C. You could do A and D, A and E, and A and F. All right, that was one, two, three, four, five combinations there. All right, and then you could start with B. Now, you've already done B and A, so you don't have to repeat that one. So you could do B and C, B and D, uh, B and E, and B and F. That is one, two, three, four, four combinations. And then starting with the letter C, you could do C and D. You could do C and E, or you could do C and F. That's three. You could do D and E, or you could do D and F. That was two. And then the other combination would be E and F. That would be your last one. All right? This will all add up to 15. <clears throat> now, there's another way that you can answer a question like this, but, I mean, you kind of just have to have known it. Uh, you remember our Pascal's triangle here? So for our Pascal's triangle, what we do is we go down to the, the sixth row, because we're, we have six objects to, to, to choose from, and we go to the uh, we go to the second uh, non-one number. So we ignore that first one. So it would be this 15 right here. All right. So if you wanted to ask, uh, say you had six objects and you were choosing triplets, you know, like A, B, C, A, B, D, there would actually be 20 ways that you could do that. All right.